Once again, Camilla Larson will parade the field of the post for race seven. The review stake for three-year-old trotting fillies, $40,000 on the line. Win, play, show, exact, a trifecta wagering. Let's meet the starters. Number one, NY Starlet is owned by Jackpot Stable and Alivamento Kronor Stable of Sweden, trained by Jimmy Tactor, and Jimmy Tactor will drive. Number two is Appeal to Reason. Appeal to Reason is owned by Brittany Farms, by Jerry and Rosalie Silva, and by David Sharp of New York, New York, and Versailles, Kentucky, trained by Ron Gerfine, the driver Mike Lachance. Number three is No Pan, No Gain, owned by the Peter Pan Stables, incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio, trained by Ivan Sugg. Dave Pallone drives No Pan, No Gain. Number four is Salagadula, owned by Joyce and Richard McClelland of Zanesville, Ohio. The trainer driver, Dave Rankin. Number five, Daffy Yankee, owned by Bob and Gail Sanders of Manuka, Illinois, trained by Bob Sanders with Randy Jacobs driving. Number six, Judge Judy, owned by Doug Ackerman Stables, Incorporated of LaPorte, Indiana, trained by Doug Ackerman, his son, D.R. Ackerman, the driver. Number seven is Victory Slide, owned by Joseph Pinaccio of Highland Beach, Florida, trained by Per Erickson, Eric Ledford, the driver. And number eight, Yankee Topaz, owned by Bill Wright, by Mystical Marker Farms, and by Donald Coleman of Morton, Chicago Heights, and Lebanon, Illinois. Trained by Dirk Simpson of Sherman, the driver is Dave McGee. Post time in less than five minutes. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Judge Judy goes out for the lead. No pan, no gain is away in good order. Appeal to reason there toward the inside, along with NY Starlet, who moves up third, heading on to the first turn. No pan, no gain is on the outside. Appeal to reason keeps her parked for better than the first eighth of a mile as NY Starlet goes third. Now, no pan, no gain has made the top clear by a length and a half. Appeal to reason is second. Then NY Starlet, Judge Judy, Salagadula, Yankee Topaz, Daffy Yankee next to last, and Victory Slide trails. 28 seconds for the opening quarter. No pen, no gain as the leader heading on to the back stretch. The lead is just one length. Appeal to Reason goes second down the backside. NY Starlet is third, their single file. Judge Judy is fourth. Salagadula hugs the rail in fifth. Yankee Topaz is on the outside in sixth. Daffy Yankee is behind her. Victory Slide is last. Yankee Topaz is gearing up on the outside for Dave McGee was near the back of the pack a moment ago. She's second, and now she's about to snag the lead. The half in 58 and four. Yankee Topaz takes over past the draw gate, leading it by a length and a half. No pan, no gain a second. Then comes Appeal to Reason. NY Starlet is next toward the inside. Then Judge Judy, who goes fifth toward the rail. She's locked in tight because Daffy Yankee is keeping her pin down. Then Salagadula got the shuffle back toward Victory Slide, who's last. At the three-quarter, Yankee Topaz leading no pan, no gain, and appeal to Reason, whose third takes to the outside. Three-quarters, 127 and four. NY Starlet is fourth and has to go three wide off the last turn. Yankee Topaz leads it now by three lengths. No pan, no gain is second. Eighth of a mile remaining. Into the stretch, appeal to Reason third. Yankee Topaz under a drive now, leads it by two. No pan, no gain is second. Appeal to Reason, Judge Judy, and then NY Starlet. Yankee Topaz. Has the lead. Judge Judy comes up the rail late, but no catching. Yankee Topaz, who wins it by two. Close for second, either Judge Judy or no pan, no gain for the second spot. The time, one minute, 56 seconds flat. Burton, Illinois, the owner, along with Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights and Donald Coleman of Lebanon, Illinois. The winning three-year-old filly is by Lindy Lane, bred by Yankee Land Farms Incorporated of Maryland, trained by Dirk Simpson, who now makes his residence in Sherman, and driven by Green Bay, Wisconsin native Dave McGee. 156, new lifetime record for this filly. Louise Powers is the caretaker, so Louise will pick up that caretaker's medallion for this Grand Circuit event. Grab driver Dave McGee before he gets too far away. Dave? 
First of all, congratulations on the win. Not a bad kind of filly. Nice filly. Very nice filly. A couple of things have happened since we saw you last. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, since we've seen Dave McGee last year at the Illinois State Fair, he has been inducted into the Harness Racing Hall of Fame in New York State. Dave, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thanks very much. Also, Dave, you reached a milestone here on Friday that we didn't realize at the time. You became the first driver in the history of the Illinois State Fair to ever win 150 races on this racetrack. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. I've had a lot of good trainers to drive for over the years and some great owners. This, is, this has been really a fun place for me to race. We've had fun watching you. Speaking of great owners, why don't we grab Bill Wright? We'll let you get going, Dave. Thanks again for all your time. Thanks, Kurt. Dave McGee, now Bill Wright, one of the co-owners of that winning trotter. Bill, what does it feel like to stand in the winner's circle at the Illinois State Fair when you're a native of Illinois? I like it here. I can see that. You know, it looks like you had a few friends who kind of liked it, too. Who all was with you today? Well, you know, we're a team and a family group, and so I, I think almost all my family and children and grandchildren, and then we had neighbors and friends and co-owners and aunts and uncles and everybody kind of a family affair for folks who uh, might be with us today that are new to harness racing would you encourage them to get involved in this sport i sure would because this is a sport you can be in all your life i was in i've been in it all of my life and from a little kid on and i'm i don't mind saying i'm 63 years old and there's still a fire in my belly to win so ha get into this business and have fun just tell you it's not all bad when a guy can pick up a twenty thousand dollar paycheck en route bill congratulations on the victory to you and the other owners as well Thank you, Curtin. Thank you for the great job you do. Appreciate you very much. Thank you. Bill Wright, ladies and gentlemen, the rundown is next.